Start this day with nothing but an open mind and focus on making you your first priority. Say no to things that don't make you happy, get rid of negative energy, nourish your mind and your body, and schedule yourself some downtime. Here are 11 ways to make yourself a priority. Number 1. Make time for you. It's not indulgent, it's okay to make time for you. However, you like to unwind, setting aside some downtime to rest is essential for your well-being. Whether it's reading, journaling, watching a film, or running a bath, take your foot off the pedal and find something that calms your mind and meets your needs. Number 2. Speak kindly to yourself. How many times have you caught yourself saying something negative about yourself? Put a stop to the self-criticism and respond to your doubts and insecurities with empathy. If you wouldn't say it to a friend, don't say it to yourself. Number three, get rid of the guilt. We spend so much of our time prioritizing the needs of others that we often feel guilty or selfish if we decide to do something for ourselves instead. Shift your mindset and remember, you don't need to justify looking after yourself. Ever. Number four, stop saying yes to everyone. It's easy to lose yourself in the go, go, go mentality, but when you stop trying to please everyone and do what you want to do instead, you'll claim back so much happiness. Life is hectic and you can't always neglect your own needs to fulfill everyone else's. It's okay to experience the joy of missing out sometimes. Number five, love the skin you're in. We're all guilty of focusing on what we look like when we should be appreciating our bodies for the incredible vehicle that they are. They allow us to breathe, to walk, and to love. They don't deserve that kind of criticism. Revel in your body's strengths. Celebrate the miles you can run or the child you produced. There's so much more to life than worrying about imperfections. Number six, don't be afraid to ask for help. You're only human. You have boundaries and limits like everyone else, and you don't always have the capacity to accomplish everything on your own. Lean on your friends, ask for what you want and need. There is joy in opening up and connecting with others. Number seven, let go of the things you can't control. Learn to let go. You can't control the past, the future, or how other people perceive you, and the sooner you make peace with that, the happier you'll be. Why do we overanalyze everything? Do we have to do everything perfectly all the time? Cut yourself some slack and stop beating yourself up at every misstep. Number eight, tell yourself you can. Banish the word can't, it doesn't exist in your vocabulary. Try new things, turn doubt into belief, you are so much more capable than you know. Number nine, embrace your emotions. Take the peaks with the pits and be compassionate towards yourself during the tough times. Forcing yourself to get over something isn't letting yourself deal with it any quicker. Lean into your emotions and allow yourself to feel vulnerable when you need to. Your future self will thank you for it. Number 10. Surround yourself with positive people. The people that feel like sunshine, those are the keepers. Your friendships should lift you up encourage and inspire you to grow as a person it may sound heartless but if you're not serving one another anymore then there's no point in trying to hold on to a friendship when you could be investing in someone who has a positive impact on your life friendship isn't an unbreakable commitment if you're sacrificing your own happiness it's more than okay to move on number 11 know that you are enough appreciate how far you've come your personal growth and success is not something to be shrugged off. Acknowledge your wins and be really proud of yourself. There's no need to change who you are to fit in with someone else's idea of perfection. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. You are enough because you are compassionate. You are enough because you love hard. You are enough because you make others happy. Every part of the you that already exists now is what makes you enough. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more psychological videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.